Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConnell Man at YouTube with another 3D printing video. Today we're going to be reviewing the eSun standard photo resin polymer for 3D printing in DLP SLA resin printers. Set by a projected screen mask and a LED UV light source. Found on eBay or Amazon, the packaging was very sufficient and is proofed from explosion or leakage. Ah, fuck! All sufficient and important documentation is listed on the label and box, such as wearing gloves to shake thoroughly, temperatures in storing, and settings for your printer. Via prior feedback from friends and general reviews, I have not heard good things about eSun, especially its plastic filament. And I've already set the bar pretty low, but found the container be very cool. As usual, I preheated the tank to a higher than usual temperature over 35 and dialed in the settings of a longer exposure and slower retraction. Speed is not important to me, just quality. The immediate and only downside is it is a little bit expensive, but so far it has poured and set very nicely. It is free of debris and very smooth. It has a very strong uh, opaque pigment, standard fumes and toxicity. I'm doing the consistent wargaming components and models as a test. A large heavier tank, which normally struggles in cold weather across all brands. Thin supports and X and Y axis tilt. Hollow with 1.25 mil walls. The second test will be a whole bed of 28 millimeter miniatures to check for detail and sharpness. The print came out free of warpage or errors. Being a standard resin, it does require to be washed in alcohol, isopropic or methylated spirits. Chemicals can be reclaimed, filtered, or exposed. It will have a sticky texture and require further UV curing for a hard skin. To keep the resin soft and flexible for post-printing work, I like to use uh, the outdoors natural UV sunlight rather than an artificial LED array. This allows for easier removal of supports by snapping off, uh, sanding, and filing and cutting. This resin had the right amount of flex for very easy removal without being brittle. I do love the vibrancy of the yellow of the tank. I did come close to running out and topped up for the figures. The lower half is the eSun. Mixing resin is not normally an issue. The overall experience has been very positive. I've had no splitting, no failures, no issues, minimal Z-axis lines. In conclusion, this is a fantastic resin. If I had no choice and had to stick to this, I'd be very glad to use it. It is a bit more expensive in my region and will be avoiding it, but was happy to trial it and compare to all other options. Thank you very much for watching and as always, until next time, stay tuned for further content and we'll look at more resins later on.